It may feel like it's coming out of left field, but when the best baseball player in the world, maybe the best baseball player ever, is available, then that's kind of a big deal. Even if Shohei Otani's free agency is shrouded in more mystery and intrigue than Stonehenge and the lost city of Atlantis and the Bermuda Triangle and the moon landing all rolled into one. I mean, seriously, why is this so secret? Why is this so secret? I feel like Shohei is somehow, somewhere, somehow even getting offended that I brought it up. Shohei is offended that I'm talking about his free agency on air. Offended that I even went there. Listen, he's a private dude. I get that. A private dude in the middle of the biggest negotiation of his or anybody else's life. I respect that. Private. But even he respects that. Even Eldrick respects that. It's private. Private. But at some point, the privacy demands get to be a little bit much. And I think we've passed that point. In fact, I think we passed that point yesterday when the baseball world blew up at the most innocuous and innocent comment ever from one of the best dudes ever. And of course, that comment was made by my dude, Dave Roberts. That's private. Surprise, surprise. Everybody found a new reason to hate on Dave. What a shocker. Everybody found a new reason to blame Dave Roberts for something. Even though the supposedly horrible thing that he caused by what he said yesterday hasn't even happened yet. Oh, but to Dodger fan, it's still his fault. I would say it's incredibly stupid how upset people are with him right now. But then again, when aren't people upset unreasonably with Doc? (laughs) The best guy ever, by the way. So let me play the scandalous, salacious comment that shook the baseball world to its core, even if it sends Dodger fan straight off the deep end. I just want to make sure everybody is prepared for this. This is very, very graphic in nature. Before I play this for you, I want to make sure you know what's coming. Before I ask Alvi to unleash the beast... I want to make sure you know, so none of you come at me with, hey, Rome, it would have been nice to get a heads up. It would have been nice if you gave me a little heads up before you just dropped that on me. In fact, maybe we should clear this with the FCC. Maybe I should clear this with the suits back in New York. Maybe it wouldn't even be responsible or acceptable to air this. It's that volatile. It's that obscene. It's that inflammatory. At least if you ask Dodger fan and even Dodger front office. Because according to Dodger fan and Dodger front office, Dave Roberts committed the ultimate sin. The ultimate sin this baseball offseason with this response to the question of whether or not the Dodgers have met with Shohei yet. Holy crap. He went there. Man, you want to talk about an earthquake. How are any of my monitors still up? How is this studio still standing? Holy crap, he went there. G hashtag. Somebody admitted publicly to speaking to Shohei. Someone call someone. Wow. I mean, that's it. That's all he said. That whole bunch of nothing is why everybody is all up in their feels. And Dodger fan is completely beside themselves because everybody is worried that that completely innocuous, empty comment just cost the Dodgers arguably the best player ever. I'm telling you, I'm not Dodger Jim. I'm not. But if I were, I would be ashamed to be Dodger Jim right now because this nonsense is beyond embarrassing. And it's not just Dodger fan participating in this nonsense either. It's also Dodger front office. Check this out from USA Today. Quote, the moment his media session ended, a stern text message on his cell phone awaited him. He immediately huddled with Dodgers public relations officials to make sure that he was no longer so candid. End of quote. Damn, are we serious? What are we talking about here? He got scolded 
by his bosses because of the answer I just played. You know, the answer where he said nothing. I mean, come on. What are we doing here? What are we even doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Like, what are we doing? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Dodgers GM Brandon Gomes even had a chance to clear the air on all this drama a few hours later when he hopped on MLB Network, but instead he did this. Yo, man, we'd have you guys back. I mean, are we talking about nuclear secrets? Are we talking about nuclear secrets? Are we talking about the most obvious information ever that everybody already knew before Dave Roberts said a thing? And he didn't even say a thing. Of course the Dodgers are in it for Shohei. Of course they're one of the teams that met with Shohei. Everybody knows this. Everybody has known this was coming for months, even years. So why are we acting like him saying it out loud is some sort of federal crime? Why are we killing the best dude ever for being honest and innocuous? Because Shohei's not going to choose the Dodgers now? I mean, is that what you're saying? Because he acknowledged that they met and that he thought it went pretty well. Does that mean that Shohei's going to be like, oh, they're out. Not going there. They could not abide by my rules. Yeah, because Shohei is about to make a half a billion dollar decision. The biggest decision of his life based on Dave Roberts saying nothing. Nope. Nope. Sorry, Dodgers. You're blocked. Ah! Lose my number. We told you how, uh, how it was. We told you how it was going to go. We told you to keep my name out your mouth, and Dave couldn't do it. You're out. You're blocked. That's private. So I'll ask once again, what are we even doing here? Boom. Dave Roberts what did not doing? jeopardize anything yesterday. And let me tell you something. If he did, somehow he did, that's on Shohei. That's not on Dave Roberts. If Shohei can't handle his manager or this manager, acknowledging that the two sides talk for a couple of hours, a couple of days back, then I'm guessing he can't handle the rest of what comes with being a Dodger. If that dude is so sensitive and too sensitive for that comment, then he's too sensitive for the Dodgers, period. It makes no sense that that dude would base his decision on that answer. But then again, it's a little confusing right now what Shohei is basing his decision on. Why don't we go there? Why don't we go there for a minute? Because as private as this guy is, he's right. made a couple of things really clear very publicly for years now. What does he want? Everybody's like, well, what does he want? Where is he going to go? What's important to him? We know. He said so. He's made it very clear. He wants to win, and he wants warm weather. He's made that very clear. And yet, the reported finalists in the Shohei sweepstakes outside of Southern California are the Blue Jays, the Giants, and the Cubs. Not exactly a pile of immediately ready-to-win teams in warm-weather markets. In fact, those three franchises have a combined two postseason wins in the last six years. So again, what are we doing here? I thought this dude was absolutely desperate like, to play October baseball. I thought this dude was absolutely insistent on going to a team that was ready to win right now. If what he's been putting out there for years is to be believed, who satisfies all that? The Dodgers. Yet I'm supposed to believe that Dave Roberts being honest and saying pretty much nothing at all is going to cause this dude to go someplace else. It, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Alvy, how do you hang me out it there like that? Thank you for nothing, it's Alvin. It's happening, you guys. It's happening. Thank you for nothing, Alvin. It's not happening, Alvin. That's the problem. It's not happening. Now, don't play that music to make up for it. <laughs> Listen, yeah, don't drop that horse on me either like that's going to make up for it. Listen, what I'm saying is this. If this does not happen... If it does not go down, if the Dodgers don't get this guy, it's not on Dave Roberts. It's on Shohei. And it will be for the best. Because if he can't handle the tiniest amount of heat and scrutiny, and that's not even what that is. There is no heat in that. There is no scrutiny in that. But if he can't handle that, how is he going to handle the Dodgers? Now, Wells. Why don't we address the elephant in the room? Wells. I'm sure you're off somewhere fist-pumping and celebrating 
and busting out a box of victory Twinkies right now. Like, your horrific take about Shohei is finally justified. And that I finally agree that the dude is overrated. And today is finally the day you get to ceremoniously return to the jungle. No, that's not what's going to happen, Wells. You still have the worst take ever. Your band still stands. And I will never, ever agree that that dude is overrated because it'll never be true. But I can say this. His free agency approach is extremely high maintenance. It's annoying, frankly, and it's weird. And if the best dude ever being honest and saying nothing about a December meeting is really that big of a problem, then Shohei probably is not worth the trouble for the Dodgers over the course of a 10-year, half-a-billion-dollar deal anyway, as incredible as he is. In fact, let's be real. If this guy really is that sensitive about something that innocuous, good luck dealing with everything else that comes along with being in a major market with major expectations and the biggest contract ever. Which is why the Angels effectively let this guy do whatever the hell he wanted. Let me repeat that. If he's really that sensitive about something that innocuous, good luck dealing with everything else that comes along with being in a major market with major expectations and the biggest contract ever. In other words, congratulations, Toronto. Congratulations. On winning the Shohei sweepstakes. Who am I kidding? Of course the guy's not going to Toronto. He's clearly going to, wait for it, I know where he's going. I know where he's going to sign. At the risk of blowing it for that team because I talked about them, I don't give a damn because I know. I know where he's going. You know how I know? I do, and I'll tell you why. But first, let me let you know where he's going. Shohei clearly is going to the Giants. The Giants. The money may be the same or close to the same everywhere, but in Frisco, Shohei gets the money and the sandwiches. Have you seen the story? My man Ike. Jungle legend Ike. Of Ike Sandwiches. Ike is on record of saying he wants to change the name of his sandwich empire. And it is an empire. He wants to change the name of his sandwich empire to Shohei's if Shohei goes to Frisco. Who the hell can say no to that? And more importantly, who can match that? Who can match that? So what's important to Shohei? Winning, warm weather, and I would imagine a sandwich empire. What the hell is Toronto going to do? What is Toronto going to do to counter or to match? Is the owner of Tim Hortons going to change their name to Shohei's? Doubt that. And by the way, if they did, it wouldn't matter. Tim Shohei's? Shohei Hortons? No way you can't match Ike. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. In S. Let me save you the trouble, clones. Sorry to wreck your fun, clones. I know. In Frisco, that half a bill can buy a sweet, multi-level, urine-free, feces-free cardboard box loft overlooking the fog and Alcatraz. Sorry that you don't get to send that to me. That whole open, this whole free agency... Nonsense. Come on. Get off of Dave Roberts. And Shohei, dude, you're awesome. Come on. You Come on. You're the best baseball player I've ever seen, honestly. But come on, man. This privacy thing, it's a bit much. And by a bit much, I mean Private. it's a lot. And the fact that executives are running around and they won't talk about it and they're paranoid... He's doing this. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And 
hit the bell to be the first to know when we do upload a new video.